Hello, this is just a quick video to show you some of the things you can do with an NPC in Minecraft. And this is mainly for my students of the Minecraft Creative Writing class. Um, so I've just gone on my server. I am going to select an NPC. I've typed NPC select zombie because zombie is the name of one of the NPCs. And now I'm going NPC TP. And that is going to teleport me to where the zombie is. And there he is. Okay. If, you're, if you've just created a new NPC, you need to do ND auto set. And this connects your NPC with a plugin called NPC destinations. I already have that installed for this guy, so I can go ND info. And this tells me, it's the NPC destinations, and it tells me what he's doing and where. So he was doing random movement, but he's paused for my player. So I might want to have an NPC that continues to walk around, even if a person is near them. So what I can do is click on where it says five blocks of NPC, pause on player, five blocks of NPC, and I can just, it automatically creates this little command down at the bottom, and I can just add on here how many blocks away from the NPC the player has to be before the NPC pauses. So I'm gonna change it from five to two. And if you look, it now says two blocks from NPC, and my NPC is started walking away because I'm far enough away from it. Okay, so now I want to add some locations where this NPC is going to go. And I'm just walking around. Now I'm going to type ND add location sunset. At sunset, the NPC is going to come right here by the fountain. Okay. Now I still have this ND info showing on my screen and I've got configured locations. And location zero, that was the one we were at before. Now we're at location one. And the NPC is currently 25 blocks away from this location. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on this little symbol that's got the arrows. I think it looks a bit like a little recycling symbol. I'm going to click there, and I'm going to say when the NPC comes to this fountain, I want the NPC to be able to wander 30 blocks away from the fountain, and I want him to wander quite frequently. So I'm going to put some low numbers here for the minimum and maximum time he stands still in between wandering. Okay, so that set the wander settings for this NPC. Okay. I can go through and change a few other things here too. I can say that he can open gates, he can. He can open wood doors. If you want to change that, you just click on it. True or false. You can tell him that he can only walk on certain types of blocks. Um, but the basic thing you're going to be doing right to begin with is just setting some locations for him to go to. And telling him how far he can walk when he's there. Okay. I guess a couple other things I can show you right now. We can do NPC equip. And then we can hand the NPC something. If I click on it again, I can end up changing what he has. I think I can. No. Nope. Probably I can if I hand him something else. There. Now I can take the rod and flesh back. I'm going to give him the rod and flesh though, not the pickaxe. And I'm going to go out of the equipment editor. So it's just NPC equip. Okay. When you create your NPC, it will be a player type, NPC type player, NPC type villager, 
NPC type zombie. We want him to be a zombie. Okay, so that's just the basics. And that's all I'm going to do for now.